We shall never surrender. One small step for man. If I have a dream. Ask not what your country can do for you. What's the status quo of your favorite quote? Professor Buzzkill explains all on Quote or No Quote. Good morning to you, Buzzkillers. You know, lots of people are credited with coining the great phrase, well-behaved women rarely make history. These include Marilyn Monroe, Gloria Steinem, Eleanor Roosevelt, Anne Boleyn way back in the 16th century, and our own Aunt Ginger from the Buzzkill Institute. Given time, any powerful woman with backbone and nerve will get credit for this phrase and sentiment. It's a great quote, but we should credit its actual author. And we're so happy here at the Institute that it came from an academic scholar, Laurel Thatcher Ulrich, who's a professor of early modern history at Harvard. Academic historians rarely make history, but Professor Ulrich certainly has. While she was a PhD student, she published an important article in the spring 1976 issue of the journal American Quarterly. Its title was Virtuous Women Found, New England Ministerial Literature, 1668 to 1735. Professor Ulrich wrote about women from early America who were not usually featured in history books. Well-behaved or virtuous women from that time have been largely lost to history because their lives were unremarkable by the terms of who decides what counts as history. Usually, and far too often, frankly, only women who break social rules or upset social norms get noticed by chroniclers at the time, often in trial records. And it's those women that make it into the history books. As Ulrich wrote, Cotton Mather called them the hidden ones. They never preached or sat on a deacon's bench, nor did they vote or attend Harvard. Neither, because they were virtuous women, did they question God or the magistrates. They prayed secretly, read the Bible through at least once a year, and went to hear the minister preach even when it snowed. Hoping for an eternal crown, they never asked to be remembered on earth, and they haven't been. Well-behaved women seldom make history. Against antinomians and witches, these pious matrons have had little chance at all. I'm sure you know who witches are, bus killers, but antinomians were those Christians who believed that there were no moral laws that God expected Christians to obey, including Old Testament law. The idea was that faith alone brings salvation, and that was enough for Christians to follow. Anne Hutchison was perhaps the most famous early American woman who fit this definition. Well, since Professor Ulrich was not yet a well-known person in the late 1970s, it's very likely that this quotation floated around at the time without attribution. But our modern culture hates what Ralph Keyes, the author of The Quote Verifier, calls orphan quotes. Like so many other quote orphans, well-behaved women seldom make history, not only got changed to well-behaved women rarely make history, but got attached to many famous women. That's how Marilyn Monroe... Eleanor Roosevelt, Gloria Steinem, and Aunt Ginger have been credited with coining it, coining it. You see it on posters, you see it on in yoga studios, you see it on t-shirts all the time. Things are improving somewhat, buzzkillers, though. Professor Ulrich's name often now appears next to the quote on the interwebs. And indeed, she wrote a book not only about how this quote came about, but in the same book she also shows how various important women have either been championed or ignored by history, and how those things came to be. Get the book on the Buzzkill bookshelf. Believe me when I tell you that it'll open your eyes about women's history and what it means to make history. And you can quote me. Talk to you next week. Epicast. Epicast.